All right, full day for you. Thank you, Doug. <laughs> and it was a thrilling afternoon for fans as the Green Wave and the Tigers took home those trophies. And as Paul Murphy reports, both teams have those rooting for them already excited for next season. <laughs> Carnival season doesn't start until the end of the week, but Monday, New Orleans was already decked out in purple, green, and gold. <laughs> purple and gold for LSU. Go Tigers, baby! <laughs> and green for Tulane. <laughs> Students and alumni packed Bruno's in Uptown to root for the Green Wave as they took on the USC Trojans in the Cotton Bowl. You cannot help but get excited. The energy is infectious. I mean, what more do you want? Bowl game and Tulane. It's been 80 years since we've been in a major, in a major bowl, and Paul, it's about time. This was the first major bowl game for Tulane since the 1940 Sugar Bowl. 83 seasons ago. I, I think we're on the way up. I think Tulane is now a football school. That's what we want to be. It was a house divided for the Tober family. Chad is a USC fan. His wife Heather graduated from Tulane. Happy wife, happy life. That's why I'm wearing these Tulane beads because she graduated from Tulane, even though I'm rocking my USC gear. Fight on. <laughs> a lot of trash talking. A lot of trash talking. <laughs> Fans cheered on LSU at the wrong iron along Bayou St. John. The Tigers faced the Purdue Boilermakers in the Citrus Bowl. They had a great season, so we're excited to be watching them. We got our family here watching the game together and cheering on Tulane, of course, too. They beat Auburn in Auburn, Arkansas in Arkansas, and they didn't have great years. But we also beat Alabama, Florida. I mean, we're 6-2 and two in the SEC. Come on. Future Hall of Famer, former Saints quarterback Drew Brees, was on the sidelines for his alma mater, Purdue, as an interim coach. I can't imagine he's happy with the result right now, but it's, it's fun seeing him there. Win or lose, LSU and Tulane have something to cheer about this season. Both teams have solid football programs to build on in the new year. Go Tigers! Go Wings! Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. And we'll have continuing coverage of all the excitement as both teams return to Louisiana. Stay with us for the celebrations of these big wins.